Hello, welcome to my video. Um, I'm often asked uh, by people online and also the people that I teach here um, what, what uh, is involved in glazing a picture. Well, uh, it's dead simple, anyone could do this. This is a painting I finished last year, so it's completely dry, just painted in brown, Van Dyke brown, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I'm just uh, adding, obviously, blue to the sky. This is uh, not mixed up to any kind of um, specific ratio of paint to oil. It's just what feels right. And you just mix it up and smear it on the picture. It doesn't matter if it goes wrong because uh, the painting underneath is completely dry. If it did go complete, totally wrong, then I would just add oil to dilute it and wipe it right off. I wouldn't use turpentine. It's up to you if you want to use turpentine, but I, I hate the stuff. So I've, I've roughly put the colour on. It's not something you need to be particularly precise on uh, because it, it is incredibly flexible. You can just move it around, change it, add to it. Uh, for instance, this, I'm putting blue on. I'll be putting orange on in a minute. And um, when it's dry, I could put another glaze over the top of this glaze. Some old paintings uh, have up to 60 layers of different glazes. And it has an amazing effect once, once you... Um, once you build them up, as long as you don't go over the top, you mustn't, you know, don't, don't push it too far. So the blue looks quite nice, a little bit strong in a few places. So I'm just uh, wiping it back a little bit, bringing out some of the highlights from underneath. And um, now is a good time. I've always found this when I start glazing a picture, the hairs that are stuck to the painting tend to start showing up. Um, they, they're sometimes. Um, from me or from the brush or from the studio cat which is a tiger lily so um off we go again a little bit more lightning over in this area on the left just wiping back more the more you wipe it obviously the more paint comes off so there we are i'm speeding this up because it's actually it's a very simple thing to do anyone can do this and uh People, uh, actually, I've come across people who think that you can only glaze a picture if it's lying down flat. It's not true. You can have it upright. A little bit of orange, cadmium orange, just along the uh, horizon line, just to make it a little bit warmer down there. And also um, a little bit on the water in the front. And that's pretty well it. So... I will probably come back to this in a while. Um, I'll let it dry and I will possibly add, I don't know, maybe a hint of green to the actual landscape. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.